I'm Robin from MOA, music over all. And I'm here today to help you figure out what's hot and what's not in the new upcoming music industry. All right, okay, okay Mike is on, on his way, on top of the game, and they're all gonna say, tell them niggas Mike, 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 Mike's on. What's up, you guys? I'm from MOA, Music Overall, and today I'm here with... Mike, what's up? We are here to discuss his vision, goals, and message from his music. Hey, Mike, what's up? I'm Robin. How you doing, Robin? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fine, and I'm, I feel blessed to be on your show today. Thank you, thank you. Through your music, you sound very poetic and very open-minded. What's that about? Well, I feel like, you know, every artist has their own, you know, messages in their music. Like uh, like the Beatles, the song Come Together. That was a great song. What's your overall reaction about the whole Somali situation and what you think we should do? What you think you're gonna do? Like, what's your whole, what's your overall reaction about it? Uh, How are you feeling right now? Well, how I feel about right now, it, it, it's, it's very, it's, that's a very touchy subject because right now, you know, I'm, I'm still pretty, you know, pretty lost right now about that situation because I feel that they shouldn't have to go through, you know, no food and, and all the, the violence that's going on right now as far as like, like the civil, you know, the civil war that's going on. And, uh, and I mean, and, 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 and it really just, you know, kind of hurts me right now. So that's why I feel like if we can kind of get everyone together and to try to get some type of event going where we can kind of, uh, raise money and to send over to uh, the refugee camp that's in Kenya and Ethiopia for uh, the Somali, that, that would be perfect. But right now, I, I know I can't heal the world, but changing someone's life, it, it, it makes a big difference. So you, you like, you seem like you have a very, very helpful heart. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. So. so, what do you feel about the various crime levels that's going on right now in America? Wow, um, yeah, the crime right now is going on in America. Yeah, it, it, it's it's pretty at an all time high right now because yes. you know it's it, and, and it's it's not just about gang violence or drugs or drug abuse or anything like that. It's all crime, you know, even with the white collar crime. You know, they're spending billions and billions of dollars on guns and, and debts and things that that doesn't really even matter, and, and it's crippling right now. Uh, America, you know, and people are losing their jobs. And when you don't have no money or no food or no shelter, you kind of have that mind where you feel like you have to go out there and just do anything, you know, yeah. by any means necessary. Yeah. So that means either you're killing, stealing, or whatever, you know. And that's why I feel that if we could kind of just open our minds and try to come together and just try to find another solution because mm -hmm. right now the solution that they have planned for us is not working. Yeah. What do you feel we should do to help the crime rate that's going on? Not just in America, but where we live. Like if we're in a rural area, where we live there, if we're in like a suburban area, you know. All those areas that we live in, what do you think that we should do or what do you think that someone should help us with? You know, like how should we go about all these crimes and all of these people going to prison and people getting busted for like petty crimes or bigger crimes or like murders like what do you think we should do in our community to stop it well like i said it, it goes it goes back to, to the generation of you know young kids not having that role model that male role model that can guide guide the guide their children in a better path because yeah. you know right now there's a lot of people that that are going through a lot of changes, you know, and that's the the only way we can make things different and make change is we just have to come together. That's 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 just it. Yeah. Just have to come together. Coming together, what would you really put forth onto the table? Like if I don't get along with the neighbor, if I don't get along with someone down the block, how do you think that we should come together to make all this vanish? I feel that we're we're all adults, you know, and we mm -hmm. and we all we all control our actions, you know, and, and if and if you have a problem with another person, 
you know, I feel that, you know, to be the bigger person is to go over there and to let that person know how you feel, but not to be so vulgar towards that person, but let them know that, you know, what's going on right now is people are, you know, killing each other over the smallest thing, you know, yeah. even, even over material or relationship, anything. And, and I feel that people, if they have a problem with another person, go over there and just try to figure out a solution to make it better before it gets worse. Because violence only gets more violent. Yeah, you're right. So how do you feel about your new mixtape? Like, do you think that your new mixtape can help the violence kind of settle down? Or if someone can find your mixtape as not really overwhelming, but like, you know, kind of connecting to their life, do you think that your mixtape is, you know, helping us? Well, the mixtape, you know, that, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's pretty much, you know, something that I just kind of put together as far as like, you know, uh, just to show people that, you know, I have a, another side, like, you know, I, I feel like I have two people inside of me, like, <laughs> one, you know, I have this caring, sensitive side where I want to yeah. open up and reach arms and then help people, and the other side of me is just more like, you know, hey, like, I'm, I'm ready for anything, I'm ready for yeah. war, you know, so, you know, uh, the, 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 the Michael Myers Master Mixtape, that, that's the other side of me, it's like, I'm ready for war, I'm ready for whatever they bring to me. So with your new mixtape, Michael Myers Massacre, I was told that you sold over 5,000 units independently in Los Angeles, California. How are you going about it? How do you feel well, about it? Well, I feel about it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty blessed, you know, because yeah. right now there's a lot of competition out there. Very much. And uh, yeah, I was I was pretty shocked, you know, when I even heard that I sold that many, you know, units. <laughs> and then plus when I was, you know, LA for that, you know, that one week, you know, mm -hmm. people, they were writing me and, emailing me and calling me like, yo, like, you know, you, you are really rocking right now. And I was like, really? Like, wow, you know, I was pretty shocked. I mean, yeah. I, I was I was really shocked, like, wow, you know. And plus, you know, my music is overseas in Japan. Really? Like, they, they, they're they really connected to me right now. Because I heard about that. I heard that it's really good overseas. So what part, like, what other parts of the U.S. they're doing really good right now? Um, Chicago, uh, Chicago also, um, right now, Chicago State. University is where most of my uh, music is being downloaded and also bought. And uh, besides Chicago, Wisconsin, um, Ward radio station, they're also promoting and playing my music out there in uh, Florida. A lot of the Haitian community, Jamaicans, and not even just them, you know, everyone, you know, out in Florida, they, they just yeah. love that their vibe is in right now. So that's another lesson to, you know, even have those type of fans <laughs> that kind of be connected to them. Yeah, that's, that's like, that's a few cheese in and everything. Yeah, so. I'm pretty happy right now, so, yeah. Your so. mixtape, Michael Myers Massacre, has been doing really good. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, I heard about it, but throughout all your albums and your mixtapes with Karma and West Side Story and now Michael Myers Massacre, what do you really think, you know, like, with those albums and your mixtapes, which one do you think really connected with your fans? I would say the West Side Story, and the reason why I said West Side Story is because West Side Story, it was it was a very very it was a touchy album, but also you know it was it was different tracks where you know I was just pouring my heart out and and not in that you know sensitive way, but in you know, also angry way because. As a child growing up, but I, I, I was a male role model, and also, you know, just going through a lot of changes, which I wasn't really ready for it because I, as a young teenager growing up in the, in the ghetto, you know, it, it happens all the time. So yeah. I was, it was, a, it was a very, very um, touching out. I would say the West Side. Story. So with your Karma album, your West Side Story, and your mixtape Michael Myers Massacre, where are you getting all these names? From? Like, how are you bringing these names to life? Um, wow, uh, yeah, so the Karma album, which I had dropped in 2006, I was, I was pretty young at the time, I was 16 years old, and, uh, you know, my, I mean, me as myself, you know, as, as a young kid going from the hood, you know, I was <laughs> out there, you know, you know, selling drugs and uh, joining, I was in the gang and, you know, running the streets, and, I, I, I've done so much, you know, and I felt like, you know, at that point in my life, I knew there was no turning back. Yeah. So, you know, 
when I even tried to avoid the gang life and try to get out before I got, you know, deep into the game, you know, uh, a lot of things started changing while I started getting arrested and uh, police were beating me up. Uh, I was always seeing the judge every other week, but I, I really wanted to change. So I named the Karma album, Karma album because what goes around comes around and everything came exactly. back to me. Yeah. And uh, for the West Side Story, you know, that was just about my childhood growing up, you know, moving from state to state and uh, just just giving the world my story, you know, and letting them hear, you know, this this young African-American young black brother that's growing up in the, in the ghetto, and giving, you know, giving the world my story. Yeah. And they were really touched by that story, you know. And for the Michael Myers Massacre, you know, I, I, I'm a very big fan of uh, Michael Myers. <laughs> I, I even I even like the, the, the remake with Bob Zombie did with uh, Michael Myers in the beginning, so I was really, Fascinated with that work, so uh, yeah, and, and, and I, I, I named the Michael Myers mask because I felt like you know it was untouchable, like nobody could see me, you know, okay. not to be you know <laughs> conceited or cocky or anything like that, but I felt like you know no one could see me. So. Yeah, well, it sounds like you have a lot going on right now. Mm -hmm. So with all this, you know, you're writing, you're about the poetry, you're writing about the big tape. What's your next big move? What are you about to do? Well, well my next big move is to you know, the, the, the movie movie roles and uh, to get my book published and put out there and also, you know, drop my uh, my fourth uh, upcoming CD, uh, American American Me. Um, that, that, that's gonna be a really hot track. You know, I got a lot of good producers I'm working with and, uh, you know, uh, so it's gonna be really a good, a good album. Just meeting more fans and meeting more producers and, you know, just, Going from there. Really good. Do you have any upcoming videos? Uh, yeah, my latest video so far, was, which was produced by uh, the William Bishop, is my last hope. Really? So, yeah. Well, his last hope is coming up right now, so here's a clip of it. Here on MOA. I hope you liked it. You can find it on his new mixtape, Michael Myers Massacre. Is there anywhere else that we can find that video? Uh, yeah, you can uh, just go on to www.facebook.com slash Mike, M-I-K-K-E, Ripper, R-I-P-P-E-R, -P -P -E and also com slash Mike, and uh, twitter.com slash Mike651, and uh, www.artist.com ecard.com slash Mike. Okay, that seems really good. Thank you so much for being on my show. I had a great time oh, meeting you welcome. today. Okay. Thank you so much. So there you have it. That's your boy Mike. Be sure to cop all his albums, his new mixtape, and everything. I had so much fun, you guys. Thank you so much. Come back to see him unfold his new chapter in his brand new career. Thank you so much and have a good night, you guys. Bye. All right, okay. Say, tell them niggas, Mike, Mike.